I feel like I've gotten to the end of my rope. <laughs> like I keep getting pushed like to the edge of this like <sighs> cliff and like I'm just being pushed, pushed, pushed until I just fall over. And then I either crash or burn or learn to fly. And that's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. Stinking it. I feel so pathetic. And see, instead of doing something, I'm just sitting here crying about it. And there's nothing that I want to do. I don't want to do anything. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that I want to do theoretically, right? There's tons of things that I want to do theoretically. But how do you get from here to there? It seems like everything that I want to do is dependent on means. Oh. Yeah, as I'm speaking, I get a message from the bank. I can see it come in on the top of the screen. <laughs> Isn't that just lovely? I don't know what all this is good for either. My kids certainly wouldn't want to see all this. And that just makes me want to cry even more that my kids aren't here with me. No, it's not that they're, you know, they are with me a lot of the times. And my son's going to come home today. But I feel like I don't have a place for them. And I miss them a lot. I miss just being able to take care of them. And I'm sure that they feel like they're also... I feel like I'm crammed here on top of my parents. And I'm sure that they feel completely out of place. They don't have a space. There's no place for them with, their, with me. I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm just tired. Yeah, sometimes I think, okay, what would it look like if I just quit? But how can you just quit when you have kids? You know, you can't just quit. Huh? What does that look like? Just withering into a ball? What does that look like? You can't when you have kids. You can't just quit, but then you don't know what to do. So it's just like, what do you do? I don't know. Oof, 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 oof. And then when I get like this, I can't do anything. I'm uninspired to do anything. Everything everything I think of putting my energy into doesn't, you know, it doesn't give back enough for me to be able to be making it. So I feel like it's not worth throwing my time and energy into things that I know aren't going to work anyway. And then I just get completely uninspired and then in a place of complete where I'm completely uninspired there's no way to lift off I mean somebody just wrote me it was really nice 
about one of my YouTube videos that I was crabbing on. I like hearing back feedback. It really builds me. Thank you. But I don't remember what I was going to say about what she wrote me, but she wrote me lots of things that were really nice and nice to hear and good advice. I don't remember what she wrote me, what I was going to say. I was going to say something about what she wrote because she, she wrote some really good things. Oh, about being uninspired. That when you're down in a hole, it's like your natural gifts are turned off because you're just like this under pressure. You can't see. You can't see anything straight because you're so pressured. That's also, I think, you know, I I don't like saying it, but also it's my post-trauma. And I don't like saying it because I feel like it's an excuse. Because anything that's in our mind is fixable in our mind. It's not like, it's not like, oh, okay, that, it's a total cop-out to say, oh, I have post-trauma. That's my deal. I do. But... That's just, I, first of all, I don't see it as something that is, you know, it's just something that you have to overcome and you have to work with. And then when you overcome it, you become that much stronger for it. So I don't see that as an excuse. Actually, I don't really see that I suffer from post-trauma, really. I see that because of the post-trauma and coming through the post-trauma, I'm not willing to do the same things that I would have been willing to do before because it's... You, when you come through traumas, you, you see what's really important and what isn't. What isn't important falls away. And then you're not, you know, I'm not willing to go out and, and uh, do things that I feel like are going against my soul for money. I'm just not willing. It's, it's and, and not only not willing, it's not like a choice. It's like I can't. I can't do it. I tried. I tried. I can't. But then the things that I really do want to do, I don't even know how to come at them. I don't know how to make them real. Real. Not that they're not real. I don't know how to bring them into the physical world. It's like I live on this different plane and I just visit down here in the physical world. And how do I bring that from there to here? I don't know. I'm figuring it out. This talking about it is really therapeutic. You know, it helps me figure out, you know, I talk about it and then I realize things like what I was just, what I was just talking about. It helps me realize things and then, and then those things start rattling around. It brings those things out into the front so that I can face them in this 3D world and, and kind of work on them here. This twin flame journey thing is a doozy freaking doozy. I'm getting it worked out. I can see that more and more like the, and also, you know, it's these videos help me also work the things out and I'm doing them, you know, I'm doing them for you, but mostly for me. <laughs> And the, the being able to own it and own myself and put all this out there, you know, put it out there is saying, okay, I'm owning myself and it's saying it to the world too. I'm owning myself. This is who I am. This is what I'm going through. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one. I'm sure that there are plenty of people 
that are going through similar things or at least this touches them on different places or have gone through these things and are working through them in themselves or have worked through them or will work through them and I trust that everything that I do has purpose and everything that everybody does has purpose and that if you find these videos and you're able to watch them all the way through <laughs> because yeah the, it's probably pretty tough to watch somebody going through all of their I don't know stuff like my friend said it's like it's like cleaning a sore without getting all the getting all the pus out it's like that oof 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 I just want to snap my fingers and everything be okay this big stress ball I don't know, it's been like a big stress ball for the last few days. It's all come up because I have an opportunity to move out of where I'm at. And I don't, and I found a perfect place, a perfect place. It's right across the street from my parents. It's three bedrooms. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect for what I need for me and my kids. My ex-husband said that he would help. I don't want to say anything about that because it's not fair. Let's just say I'm still crying, yeah. And I don't know how I'm going to pull it off. And I just know that I need to jump on it and take the opportunity because there's not very many opportunities like this. And... The apartment is open in two weeks from now, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I need to get it all figured out. And the stress of it is just like, and the thought of giving it up, I'm just telling him I can't take it. And and surrendering into being in, in this place for longer than I've already been here is just like, it's the most painful thought. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. And I guess that not knowing how to how I'm going to do it is part of the process of figuring it out. I guess this is part of the process. Having to feel the pain of not knowing how to do it in order to figure out how I can do it. It has to be quick. It has to be quick. And my boys are already getting excited about it. And I still don't know how I'm going to even pay the down payment for it. It's in two weeks. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. At this point, I'm just... I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to keep on doing what I can. And I think I'm just going to trust God. Say, God, help me. And and trust God to just step in and show me the way. And I guess if I trust in God, then there's no reason to really be crying, is there? Because if I really believe, then I know that it's all working out anyway, no matter what happens. There's always a divine plan. This isn't helping. Well, it is helping, but I don't feel like feeling like this anymore. I feel like just, I, I mean, how do you get, how do you run away from your own self?
How do you run away from your own self? I just have to trust in God. That I'll be guided. And I guess pray. I feel like I go in these loops. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm the strongest person and I can do anything. I can accomplish anything. I, I can. And then other times I just feel so alone and invisible. And I feel like the things that I cry about for other people are small things. And for me, they're like these massive, huge monsters. And I, I know what it feels like to be on the other side. But this time being on the other side is going to be so much sweeter because I'm purifying myself and then I'll get there standing up right and not sneaking in the back door. Oof, schmoof. Oof, schmoof. Oof, schmoof. Oof, I could make that into a song like oof, oof, oof. Okay. On that high note. <laughs> you see, I think laughing and crying are two sides of the same thing. They're two sides of the same thing. It's it's funny. Well, I'm going to get started on this day. It's 8 in the morning. I've been up since 5.30 this morning crabbing. See my eyes? It's crabs. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. It's already 8. So how many hours is that? What is that? Like two and a half hours? Yeah. It's two and a half hours of crabbing. I did meditation in the middle. And when I went into meditation, I just wanted to stay there. I didn't want to come out of it. But then I had to go pee. So. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have just stayed there. Because when, it, when I meditate, it's like I'm in this different world. And it's in a world that I love being in. Okay, we gotta go.